Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today we start off inside my house because, gasp, new floor has been built. So I paid off another big chunk of my loan. It is almost done actually. I think there's only one more upgrade for us to do now. But upstairs I have placed all of my ridiculous bunny costumes and bunny day items up here. Hello Roxy. Um, so yeah, this is um, my storage space for bunny day furniture and like some other stuff too. Cat, what are you doing? <laughs> She's walking around. Yeah, hi. How are you? Aww. Aww, Roxy, that's the sweetest thing. Come here. Do you want a cuddle? I have just started the stream, so... I mean, it, it's not ideal, to be honest, but that was very cute, so I will allow it on this occasion. <laughs> All right. So yeah, um, the upstairs room is actually a really cool shape. It's uh, super interesting. So I have, as far as I'm aware, collected all of the Bunny Day stuff already. And I do have some spare recipes, which I'll hopefully be able to share with people who might not be able to get all the bunny stuff. Um, in the future. So yeah, a new room, which is pretty good. Um, I moved all my furniture inside because actually um, I've been doing some landscaping. So basically today I want to show you the progress I've made and um, do a little bit more landscaping. So I moved all my Zen furniture back inside as well. And I've made this... Um, little bamboo slash cherry blossom sakura um, set up in here and it's, it's really cool I've got the lights off because I think it looks nicer like this um, see so yeah, that's kind of what my house is looking like for the time being um, so yeah that's the house update um, but the bigger updates is actually outside so we'll take a quick look I actually um, did a remodel on the exterior of my house so it looks uh, slightly different now. Also something that blows my mind is you can pick up and place your mailbox in this game so you can create like some really cool outdoor spaces. So yeah, I mean the fact that I can pick up my mailbox is just phenomenal. It's crazy. Um, so yes, outside um, I moved Nook's Cranny, so it's over here. This is going to be its final resting place. Sounds a bit grimmer than I intended it to, but you know what I mean. Um, it's currently in its its final form. That maybe sounds a bit better. So if we take a look at my map, I've done some terraforming. Now, I'm, I've been trying to work it out. I think I probably spent about 15 hours on this so far. And those 15 hours have consisted of me basically flattening the top hill um, of what the island used to look like. Then I built all of the middle layer, which actually took a huge amount of time because I had to kind of really move things around quite a lot. And then I rebuilt the top layer. So now we've got this layout here. And as you can see, there's all these little um, dots where I've marked things out with paths. So all of those are like placeholders for buildings. Um, can you move more than one building a day? No, sadly not. You can only do one thing a day. But what you can do is, I think you can move your house independently um, with the buildings. But you can do, for example, a building move and a bridge move, or a demolish and a bridge move. Um, or sorry, a demolish and a building move. So you can kind of do a couple things, but none of the same type of thing. So what I'm trying to do is strategically move what I need to at any given time. So today I want to demolish my left uh, bridge that's there, and I'm going to move my house. So I'm going to go do that right now just to kind of show you how my my process is going. Um, something that is useful, like I said, is putting these little markers down. 
So these markers here is actually where the Able Sisters store is going to go. So uh, uh, annoyingly it's moving like a tiny bit back, but um, that's going to be where the Able Sisters is going. Um, my house is actually moving quite far away. So what we'll do is I'll just nip into Resident Services and we'll take a look at uh, demolishing the bridge and also moving my house. I'm gonna withdraw some money because I'm not sure if I have enough cash. Um, today's Sunday and I spent all my money on turnips so I don't have a huge amount left but we should be good to go with today's uh, spendings because it does cost to move buildings. Um, you do have to pay a fee. So this will be something that I gradually do over the next week, two weeks, because I've got, um, hi low rocks, I see you. I've got um, all of the villagers' houses to move, so that's nine houses, plus um, the Able Sister shop and my house. So there's a lot happening. Um, let me see, I would like to demolish the bridge first. Demolition, yes. Um, I would like to demolish the left bridge because I think that's going to allow me to do a little bit more because I need to finish the wall off. Uh, demolish! Perfect. So that costs 10,000 bells. And now we can see about, um, about my home. I would like to relocate. Yes. So this will happen the next day. So ready to move, uh, 30,000 bells for this one. Um, it cost me 50,000 to move Nook's Cranny, which was probably the biggest one. So Nook will give you this moving kit so you can just place your house down like you did with the initial plots um, when you were first setting up the island. And it's it's pretty straightforward. And especially since I've, I've planned everything out um, with the grid system and put those little markers down, it it's should make things pretty straightforward. Hey Carlos, doing some watering. So if we set this out, this is the area that I want it to be in. And it's really good because you can put these markers down and you don't have to manually delete them. The game is fine just to build over it. So take a look at it anyway, just to make sure. Perfect. So it's going to put my mailbox back, but I can move it again after. Wonderful. So that's my house moved. Fresh start in a new location. So that'll happen uh, overnight, which is good. So if we take a look at the map again, my home is basically mirroring the campsite and Able Sisters will be mirroring Nook's Cranny. So the museum's actually going to go up top between those two strips of water, which I need to fill in. And then the villagers' houses will be five on either side of the map. Um, I've marked out little squares for them. They're four by four buildings. So everything's going to be pretty symmetrical. I do need to sort out the rivers, um, but I have finished most of the landscaping. I just have that little bit of wall to finish, but I need to demolish the bridge first. So. We will just hop up on here and I'll show you what I've got <laughs> going on over here. So this top right area of the map, I haven't decided what I'm going to put here yet. So for now it is tree and flower storage. So um, yeah, this is all the cedar trees because I had to move them to do all this landscaping. Um, so yeah, this is my, my tree nursery, I guess. Um, so yeah, we've got these waterfalls here which are going to be either side of the museum, which is going to be this plot right here. I built a little pond as well. Roxy, I see you. You're being so demanding. Oh, you're cute though. You're very cute. <laughs> hey, Luta Shooter, what's up? Been watching your channel since Phantom Hourglass? Nice. Oh, thank you. I hope you stay safe too, friend. That's really nice for you to say as well. Thank you. Yeah, we're just um, chilling today with some New Horizons. I'm going to try and do a little bit of terraforming. I always have to stop talking. I have to, I have to close my eyes because I can only do the audio cue for fishing, and I have to stop talking. Otherwise, I just goof and can't do it. 
So yeah, same thing here. This is like my bamboo storage as well. Gosh, so many trees, it's unreal. But I didn't want to chop any of them down, so I've just moved them for uh, safekeeping for the time being until I replant all my trees uh, somewhere else on the map. Let me see if I can catch this fish. I do need some more, um, I think it's the killer fish I need to catch more of, so this might be one of those. <laughs> so ridiculous, it's a goldfish. It's worth its weight in fish. <laughs> So yeah, this area we kind of uh, showed off a little bit last time, so this is going to be my foreign fruit orchard. So we have four of each tree at the moment. Might change things up a little bit when the trees are fully grown, we'll have to see how it looks. But the plan is to have an incline here. So again, I've put these little markers down. Anything that's brick is um, stuff to build. So this is going to be right behind where the museum is. And we've got these waterfalls at either side and the river is going to continue up here and join into like a big central area. Man, look at all this emptiness. <laughs> like it's just grass and sky. Pretty clouds today. It's very nice. So yeah, same thing on the other side. We'll have an incline here. Um, my kind of vision for this is to have everything built up and sort of um, you know, buildings and stuff lower down and the further back you go the more natural the island's gonna be. So up here we're gonna have the source of the rivers which will flow downwards and we're also gonna have, I'm thinking maybe like a little sort of picnic slash bonfire area with like a telescope for stargazing and just like a really nice relaxing place up here. Might have a lighthouse up here as well. That, that is something I've been thinking about. I'm not sure if that would be too big though. Um, we'll see. So yeah, I've just moved my house, demolished the bridge. Um, I think today, I think today I'd maybe like to see about planning out the water because I do need to fill in all the rivers um, in the lower half of the map. But I do want the waterfalls to kind of come up a little bit more so we'll we can extend these further back and just see where everything takes us so I'm still catching um, cherry blossom I don't have all the recipes yet I'm still missing a couple but what I do have I'm wearing it right now actually is the little cherry blossom purse which looks adorable I love it so much I actually really like my whole character's outfit today, it's, it's very pretty. Pretty in pink. I got some compliments from my villagers as well, so they told me it was um, very a very spring style, and I'm like, yes, yes it is. So um, welcome to turnip storage. <laughs> I bought uh, 5,000 turnips this week, so hopefully that'll set me up for a while and I uh, won't have to do much more. But the campsite's here. This will be really pretty. Um, more tree storage. Gosh, it's everything's just sort of a bit of a mess at the moment, but it'll all work itself out, I'm sure. So, agrius butterfly up here. They're so fast. Nice. I wonder if it finds me disagreeable. <laughs> That's a good one. I like it. Ooh, there's another. Another petal, I'll grab that. Never understood Animal Crossing, but you play it because you find it fun and relaxing. Yeah, it's um, it's such a hard game to explain to people, um, you know, what it is, because essentially it's just you can do whatever you want to do. Um, but it's, yeah, it's, it's a really weird one to try and explain, but I've, I've always liked Animal Crossing um, since I first played it. My first game was Wild World because I didn't have a GameCube, so I, I didn't get to play the first one. But I played uh, Wild World and I got Let's Go to the City and then I got New Leaf and now we're here. So, man, Al really likes the water pump. <laughs> there it goes. How you doing, bud? 
Have you seen me a lot? I don't know. I've been wandering around, so maybe I have talked to you a couple times. Bunny day, yes. April 12th. I, I do kind of want it to get here faster because I, I have all the recipes and I'm tired of shooting down balloons and <laughs> I just ignore them now because I have all the recipes. Oh man. Look at Dizzy enjoying that donut. That looks fantastic. Hey. I, I guess I've seen you a lot too. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, I was pretty busy yesterday. I visited a few islands just to see if I could get any new flowers because I'm, I'm really desperate to collect all the flowers because I'm still missing quite a few different types. Um, I had no joy, unfortunately. I didn't get anything particularly cool while I was out adventuring. I did get some more bunny day eggs, but again, I, I probably have enough to last me a very long time and make all the furniture that I need to make, so I'm not too bothered about egg collecting. Although we're st we still have another, what, another week um, until bunny day. Gosh, I was really hoping that Lily would be home because Lily's house is amazing. She has this wallpaper and it's like raining in a forest. Um, it's like really pretty. I guess she's just having a little, a little nap. A little nap. Lily, can I not talk to her? Oh, okay, that's fine. Roxy, do you mind? <laughs> oh, she's awake. Hello. Oh, look at our little purse. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love it. Yeah, a little campfire down here. Oh man, I love her little her little purse. I love Lily so much. She's so cute. I'm so glad I have her here now. Um Gosh, I forgot what I was saying. A week till bunny day, I think was what I was saying. Um So yeah, we're gonna have eggs around for a little bit longer, but that's okay. So, um over here, the museum, um, I think I'm probably going to move this fountain because I've actually created that pond, which is essentially going to be what this fountain is. So find another place for that because it looks pretty cool. And again, Able Sisters is just going to move back to right here. So I think this will look nice. I think I mentioned this before, but I'm going to put some fences along the side so that it kind of matches the size of of the Nook's Cranny store because it's actually a couple tiles bigger. So the hope is that it all balances out nicely and that'll all be fine. I would like to check actually is if I could also move another building or if my house counts as the building to be moved today. I think it won't let me because I'm moving my house. I just want to double check because it would be good to move the shop as well, if possible. Um, infrastructure. Can I move a thing? No, that's fine. That's okay, that's what I thought. No worries, Mr. Nook. All right. So I think um, the island actually dropped uh, to two stars because I've I've removed a lot of furniture from outside and um, bits and pieces like that. Oh, hey Pierce, what are you thinking? I'm trying to talk to you from behind this lamppost. You have some a fishing vest. Thank you. Lily gave it to you. Ah. Oh, thanks, dude. Let's see what this looks like. I don't think I have a fishing vest. Oh, it's black. I was gonna say, I think there's a, a red one uh, that I've seen in Pocket Camp. It's kind of cute looking. I'll put my career jacket back on. Roxy. All right. Please do not sniff the microphone. <laughs> Don't make me come back there. Don't make me use the BRB screen, because I'll do it. I will do it. Um, you know what I should do, actually? All right, we're using... <laughs> Give me one second, friends, while I sort my cat out, because she's being slightly bad. <laughs> I'll be right
Okay, we're back. <laughs> Sorry about that, friends. Um, yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is actually tidy up all of this fencing, because that's something I can do quite easily. Because um, what happened before was I placed a lot of fencing down to help me get the three-star rating in the first place uh, from Isabel, because she was suggesting that I place down a lot of fences. So I just want to go around the houses and double check that I moved everything because it'll just make my life a lot easier in the long run. Balloon? You're not a regular balloon. Still definitely shooting down the regular balloons because they can contain actual useful things and not just sky eggs, so keeping an eye out for the regular balloons. They move a lot slower than the bunny day balloons, so they're actually not that difficult to spot. I should probably collect all of these um, pieces of furniture as well, because I'm going to have to move all these houses individually, and I don't want anything getting in the way. But with regards to... Um, the villager houses, I've made it so that they're somewhat close together but they've got enough space to create a little garden outside area and um, so each villager will have their own little plot of land and I can do some decorative, decorative stuff outside, kind of like what you were asked to do initially um, but more personalised to the animal and extensive as well rather than just have, you know, an odd table and chairs, it'll be something a bit more. Which means I will have to collect... Cat? How are you back? <laughs> I sent you out, Rox. I, I gave you food, I thought this would pacify you. It turns out it has not pacified you. Hello, sweetheart. Are you... are you gonna be bad? I can't quite tell if she's going to be bad or not. <laughs> the BRB screen may return. Yeah, it's going to have to return. I'm sorry about this. Uh, just give me one second. Alright, back again. <laughs> um, cool, I was picking up all of the <laughs> Pierce's exercise balls, that's right, his prized collection. I'll give them him back, don't worry about that Pierce. Uh, we can leave this here, I think it's not going to get in the way of anything. This stuff kind of needs to move now because it was next to Nook's cranny. Just want to go and grab this. Peacock butterfly, because it's worth, I think they're worth 2,500 bells? They're worth catching anyway. Um, I feel like most of my island's economy has thrived because of butterflies. This one as well. I think this is this one's uh, not worth as much, I think it's worth a thousand. Still good though. Um. This stuff can just kind of stay down here. The main thing is I just want everything to be cleared so that when I move villager plots they're not going to be um, in the way or anything. So the main reason I actually expanded my house again wasn't to get the extra room but actually um, your storage doubles again to 800 
and in the next one it'll be 1200 which I believe is the maximum storage so I have 800 storage which is great because I can hold on to my ridiculous collection of bugs because um, I do want to make all of the little models so so far I have the goldfish and the ladybug two down uh, 158 to go <laughs> that's okay and also the reason I have four of everything is because it's three to make the model and then I want to have one of everything left over either to display or to ask blathers about if I want to hear about a certain bug or fish. So that is why I have four of almost everything. Um, that is just fine. Let me just throw some of this stuff um, into storage. Got another stack of ten petals there. I tend to keep them uh, at the bottom corner of my inventory. I'm just gonna deposit all of this stuff now. I may or may not keep all of these things but just for the time being we can uh, put them in storage because I have so much storage. Um, I mean 1200 is still probably not gonna be enough but it was a huge jump. It went from 400 to 800 so that was definitely fine for me. Um, it was worth the house upgrade. But I do have the cool um, upstairs room which is really useful actually and it's a really interesting shape as well. So let me just go and sell a couple bits and pieces while I'm in here. Hello friends. I wish to sell please. I really hope that um, Timmy and Tommy give me good turnip prices next week because I'd like to not have to do turnips every week. I'm hoping that one or two more runs will give me enough money to do everything that I want to do. Um, I do plan on having a lot of bridges and inclines. I know the maximum is eight of each and I'm gonna have I think four bridges and six inclines. So I'm, I'm not anywhere near the max but I think the designs that I want to pick are a bit more expensive probably than um, some of the more basic ones. So let me just take a look here. I suppose we could continue the waterfall down um, on the right hand side because I think it's just uh, it's gonna just be a straight drop and this area is clear so let's just um, open up the old designer app yes wear my safety helmet I'm probably not really dressed for building work <laughs> but it's okay so we'll just carry on the waterfall down here so these little brick markers are for bridges. So I'm going to have two bridges just outside the museum that are going to connect uh, over the water here. I could have just had a, a land bridge, but I think the aesthetic of the actual bridges would be more suitable to this area because it's going to be quite grand. And um, I wouldn't say over the top, but I think, yeah, just like grand and exquisite because, you know, it's the museum, it's the the big attraction um, or man-made attraction, animal-made attraction, attraction <laughs> uh, on the island. So we want it to be pretty. So I was maybe going to put like some dinosaur fossils outside or something like that. But I'm not quite sure. So we do have... Um, the pond in the middle at least just for like a little decorative piece which is actually a functional pond um, I have seen fish spawn in here same with um, the ponds over here they are functional I actually had a slightly smaller design originally but I don't think fish were spawning in it so I made the design a little bit bigger because I, I would like them to be functional I think but I could just go back if I'm unhappy with the design later on. What's the highest price you ever sold turnips for in any game? 
gosh, I've had um, a 600 something once. Um, actually last week in this game I had a 500 something in a friend's town and it was a case of, you know, I I checked my turnip prices and because um, I use like the turnip wizard tool because it's really helpful um, and it basically said, you know, you're not going to make a profit this week, you should sell. So I was like, oh, that really sucks. So I just said like, hey, do you mind loading up your game and checking your turnip prices? And he loaded up his game and it was like 580 bells or something. And I was like, okay, I'm coming over right now. <laughs> it was, um, yeah, a pretty good week for me. I think I made, um, oh, I do that every time I, <laughs> I try and use the shovel for landscaping. I think I made about uh, 500,000 bells. In fact, I can look in here and show you because there's a thing for this. Yeah, so so far I've made 529,030 bells profit. So yeah, it was um, it was a good week. Uh, completely accidental, so yeah, it was kind of funny. Um, let me see, something else I got. I'm not sure where it is in here. Oh, this is a thing. Um, I tweeted about this actually, but I got my first golden tool, which was the slingshot, um, and that happened right after I got my 300th balloon. Is it this one? Yeah. So <clears throat> I completed its raining treasure, and the next balloon I found had a gold nugget in it, and then the balloon after that had the golden slingshot recipe. <clears throat> so I crafted that um, and got a new Nook Miles thing. Um, that's not actually what I was looking for. Uh, yeah, here. So it turns out there's actually um, tasks for remodeling the exterior of your house. So I guess I just need to do that a few times if I want to unlock this. But I mean, that, that was still cool. Um, I don't think I've had anything else new. I, I have unlocked most things except for some of the stuff that's further down and I'm not really like I haven't looked any of this up <clears throat> excuse me but um yeah I'm, I'm missing a few here but it was it was nice to get this one because it's gonna be cool to see all of the golden tools when I eventually unlock them all let me just go back to water escaping I don't want to go too far down here because I need to refer to my um plan because I don't quite remember how I laid out the river here but I'm using um, Happy Island Designer which is a really good tool um, that gives you a, a nice grid to design your things from. Whoops, just covered that back in, it's kind of awkward to see at this angle. Should probably move this tree huh? Let me go grab some food and I'll dig up a couple of these trees just to move them out the way. I do have quite a lot of pears in storage so it's not a problem. Um, and just grab a stack of pears here. Gonna have to start eating eggs at this rate. I have too many sky eggs and water eggs. I, I probably should have stopped shooting down the balloons sooner but um, I was really close to getting the the 300 for the Nook Miles stamp. So I wanted to get that while we've got all these um, balloons floating by. Just move this tree. I think that's the only one that really needs to go. Um, let's bring out the water again. come down a few more tiles because again I'm not entirely sure I have planned out the whole thing very meticulously on the grid so I do want to follow that but I don't want to um, bring it up and sort of painstakingly look at it right now because um, it's a little bit finicky but we can just extend that down so yeah we'll have this nice bridge here and that'll be great and we've got the second the double waterfall looks pretty cool. Let's take a look at the map. So I'll, I'll do the same thing on the other side. Basically um, the rivers are going to be 
mirrored so the whole thing will be symmetrical and I want to make a big circular central piece at the top middle which is going to be the source of all the water and that's going to be an island surrounded by the river which will then extend down and I'm not entirely sure what I want to put in the middle of the island because I was thinking perhaps the lighthouse but again I'm I just I'm not sure if that's quite the right thing you know I do need to extend this quite a bit further up so we'll just do a little bit of this for now it's so strange to have this you know <laughs> this barren wasteland up here but it's it's strangely pretty it's kind of odd but um yeah so i think we spent about 15 hours on this so far and i think that's probably the vast amount of it is done um Definitely the most work is just doing this kind of stuff, which is shoveling the cliff sides and the water and you know, it, it just takes time. Um, you have to do it tile by tile and there's quite a lot of tiles so you just gotta keep going. But the good thing is um, I've actually been able to catch a fair amount of fish in these rivers and I don't know if it's because there's not much water around so it's kind of concentrating more spawns into the area. I'm not sure if that's the case or if that's just what it feels like but I've been able to catch quite a few things although sadly a lot of those things have been water eggs because I keep um, I can never tell which size of shadow it is. I know the egg is a very specific shadow size um, but every time I see a fish I'm like, but it could be this and then I catch it and it's an egg. <laughs> yeah, I'm terribly disappointed. That's okay, it's it's free food. They do sell I think for 200 bells, so I, I could sell them or just eat them if I run out of fruit for moving all the trees and such. So I think We'll work on um, fixing this river area a little bit here. I just want to even things up on this side. And then I can start thinking about, you know, how I'm going to bring nature back to this landscape, which is just empty right now. It's so bizarre. Um, putting trees and flowers everywhere. It's probably going to be quite a natural, relaxed place up here. Like I said, I think I want it to be more built up and city-like uh, down south and then the further back it goes it's going to be more natural. How much further do we need to go here? A couple more tiles. Just walk across, see if I can line it up. It's so weird when you dig out the ground and it's not connected to anything, it's just this tiny spirit of water. But I mean, I'm really impressed with the tools. It's a shame that you can't do diagonal waterfalls and diagonal slopes, but um, you know, it's it's still cool. I mean, the waterfalls are just really pretty. Man, I should <laughs> look at this cherry blossom tempting me. They're actually surprisingly hard to catch. I think it's easier if you go, if you use the zoomed out mode for it. Like I said before, I'm still missing a couple of recipes and I'm desperate to find them all because everything is so pretty. <laughs> the Easter event, also known as I never want to see another egg again. <laughs> yeah, I know. Ugh. I mean, it's, it's really good that it's giving players more time and it's not on a specific day. Did it need to be 12 days? Eh, probably not. I, I think a week would have been fine. Um, but everyone plays at their own pace and it just so happens that my pace is I want to play Animal Crossing every hour of every day so I think it's 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 fine you know it, it's just how it is um, I do like that there is a level of you know making it easier and more accessible for everyone 
and like I said, I, I do have some spare DIY recipes, so I'm going to hold on to those to try and help people who um, can't be around for the event. Man, I think this is going to look really cool. Now that I've put this waterfall here, you know, it's kind of shaping up a little bit, so we're going to have the bridges connecting and then the museum behind. I think this is going to look really nice. So I want to put some paving down. I'm thinking, gosh, I'm thinking I want to use stone for my pathways. Um, the arch tile looks really cool, but it only really works on three wide pathways and most of mine are going to be two wide. The terracotta also looks cool, but man, I feel like I always go back to stone. Because stone works really well in terms of it can look really rustic. Whoops. You know, it goes well with like, if I were to make a little Japanese garden, the stone would work well. But it also works well, you know, with all the buildings. It looks quite, you know, built up and... I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain. I just feel like it works on so many different levels. Plus it's kind of the um, classic paving stone. You know, when you pull up to the town hall and there's paving stone or you go to the the train station and there's paving stone you know the only thing I'm not sure about is these um corners here so I think there's just it's gonna have to be grass at these corners because of the diagonal I'm not really sure how I feel about that might look better if we curve the edges because you can um, do this little curve right with the corners it's a shame we can't fill in this middle square here. I, yeah, I, I think I'm going to use stone. We'll, we'll see what happens here. Is there a particular event or holiday you're looking forward to in New Horizons? Um, not particularly. I think it's more um, from New Leaf. I remember holidays that I didn't like more. And um, one of them was definitely Festival because catching all of the feathers that you needed was incredibly tedious. I think I'm not really excited for a particular event. I'm excited for how they streamline it to make it easier to collect things. Because obviously there's, there's randomness in DIY recipes, right? I think that balance is just fine. You know, um, I don't feel like it's difficult or unfair you know it seems just fine because I don't want everything to be too easy but equally I don't want to feel like I'm missing out on cool stuff so it's it's about striking that balance um but I, I have enjoyed the bunny day stuff thus far we'll see what actually happens on bunny day um zipper apparently has a special gift for anybody who manages to gather all of the recipes which I have which I imagine is his picture, it's usually something like that, but um, remains to be seen. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens on the 12th. I hope they do something cool with snowmen, because they added, you know, different types of snowmen uh, in New Leaf, and that made it a little bit more interesting, but it was still, you know, kind of tedious. I, want, I wonder if I should curve... I feel like if I'm going to curve it needs to be wider. I think this kind of thing I'm only going to really know what I want it to look like when there's buildings and everything here. So, oops, I didn't want to go that far. No, stop, abort. Like I could curve these parts here, that might look quite nice. Oh man, I'm so glad that this exists and I don't have to do patterns on the floor. Although technically I can still do patterns on the floor, but in path form, so it's even better. That's just fine. Special gift gives you more eggs. No! <laughs> Man, Zipper is... he's kind of a bit of a, a nightmare fuel character for me. I'm... I really don't like uh, mascots. Like people dressed up in, in like full costume. That that kind of freaks me out a little bit. So Zipper is, um, he's not my favourite, I will say. I don't know how... 
I think I might put a row of flowers along here in front of the museum. We'll have to see. Hey Joshua, how's it going? You join me as I'm deliberating my uh, museum plot. <laughs> my um, my map's coming along quite well. Um, gosh, I feel like the pathways is just something I'm gonna have to figure out later on. But this is kind of what I'm going for. So again, not sure ugh, these bits of grass annoy me and I don't know how I can make them not annoy me so I'll have to work on that I might um oh are you a good balloon no you're a bunny balloon go away bunny balloon fly on bring me regular balloons please much prefer that so yeah I mean ugh, gosh I don't need to be worrying about pathways right now but I think it's nice to be able to visualise it a bit more and I really like my, my double waterfall. I think that looks really cool. And it's nice and easy to catch fish. I don't think... I don't think I need anything that's that size. I need the really, really tiny fish. Ooh! I asked for a regular balloon and I got one! <laughs> Amazing! The Animal Crossing gods have been kind to me this day. Um, let me pop this. Pop! With my brand new golden slingshot. So pretty. I don't know how long it's gonna take to uh, break. Hopefully a really long time. Clay! And this is not ideal. Let me catch this fish because I don't think it's- it's not small enough to be what I need it to be. <laughs> but I'm gonna catch it anyway. It's a loach! The loach coach with reproach. <laughs> you have a story for me about hunting for your 10th villager? Oh, you got uh, someone you like? Kevin, the pig. Has to be a Kevin Bacon reference, right? Like, there's no way that he's not a Kevin Bacon reference. I don't know if there's a pig called Chris, but equally, that would be a, a Chris P. Bacon as well. This fish is huge. I mean, it's a carp, right? Or a koi. But the shadow is like the biggest shadow. <laughs> I have to close my eyes every time. <laughs> I was gonna say in before it's a tire. It wasn't a tire, it was a, it was a carp. So yeah, what I found is um, I have these four ponds, but from what I can tell, only one fish can be on pres- uh, present on screen at any one time so they don't um, actually all have the opportunity to spawn but that's, that's still okay I don't mind that tend flowers I could probably do that look at all my doubles they're so like things I don't want to do <laughs> like I don't need to plant any more flower seeds or trees and I don't have anything to customize so eh it's not like I'm running low on nook miles or anything so We'll see what happens. Man, look at this. See, I could have done something like this for my bridge and just literally had a break in the river, but I think the bridges are really pretty. So even though they're expensive, I think it will be worth it. So this tier and the one above are uh, stringfish and what else needs it? Like char and the golden trout their territory so I think it's um yeah it's these lot so cherry salmon char golden trout string fish although he's not available right now because it's out of uh out of March but these three they can appear up here so we may we may see them in fact this may be one Although this is water egg size, I think. So this is probably gonna be a water egg. Hang on. Man, it's kinda hard to... <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Every time. Hey, Roxy, you're back. Yeah, you're back. You gonna be trouble again? I've had to kick you out of the room because you were being trouble. That's no good, is it? Come here. Oh dear. Poor Roxy. Poor Roxy, being kicked out. What a shame. So, um, yeah, where are we at with um, 
terraforming. You gonna settle? I'm only I'm only streaming for like another five ten minutes. You can behave that long, right? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, let me take a look at not my Critopedia. I would like my map. Yes. <laughs> Cat, I know. She's been a bit um, troublesome today. We'll use that word, troublesome. She just wants attention, you know, and she deserves all the attention, but um, just so happens that she only chooses to have attention when I'm trying to do something else, you see. This is where the problem starts. <laughs> this is my stream, I don't know why you keep kicking me out exactly. I think that's exactly what's happening. She's a sweetheart, but man, <laughs> she's really persistent. Um, yes, so I think hopefully in another week or so, the map should mostly be done. Most of what I need to do now are just moving buildings. And unfortunately I can only do one of those a day. So every day I'll be either moving a building or, um, well, I guess, yeah, moving a building. And then I can also either demolish or build a bridge on an incline. So, like I said, I've got four bridges and six inclines to build, so that's ten days. Plus two days of demolishing bridges, that's two, that's twelve days. And then I've got to move, let's, oh gosh, let's see, Able Sisters, the museum, and then nine plots, so eleven. So in twelve days <laughs> it should be done. Um, and then any other terraforming and moving trees and all that stuff I can kind of do in between. So yeah, another two weeks, um, two weeks total, it's probably going to be where we're at. And I probably spent about 15 hours, like I said, terraforming, but I do think that was the bulk of it. So probably another 10 or so hours and the thing should be <laughs> how I want it to be, hopefully. Oh gosh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Here, let me... Uh, stop designing for now otherwise I'll just mess around with the stone path and we don't need to be doing that right now. Does Rox like to use your body to help stretch? Astro gets on the table and stretches on your chest. Oh that's cute. Um, not really for stretching. She'll like give me high fives and like step up towards me if I ask her to or if I have food. But she doesn't um, actively do it no. You are not the fish that I need. And you are probably a water egg, but dang it, I want to see what you are just in case you're a a golden trout or a char, because I need those. Don't turn away from me. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. What are you? Of course it's- I mean, I knew it would be, but you know, the one time I don't catch it, it might not be, and then I'd feel bad, so... <laughs> Anyways, I hear another balloon. It's probably a bunny day balloon. Yeah, it is. Don't need it, so we can just let it float on past. Because I do have my uh, golden slingshot now. So technically I never need to shoot down another balloon ever again. But of course I will, because I want DIY recipes. I've actually got um, a fairly big collection um, of DIY recipes. Look what I got the other day. Pitfall seed recipe. That's exciting. Uh, I'm trying to think if I've got anything else cool. I got the tree standee from Frobert yesterday. That was nice. So I've got the tree and the hedge now. It's all my trash stuff. Um... Yeah, I've got recipes using gold nuggets, but I don't want to commit to using my small supply of gold nuggets. Um, but I got this gold lucky cat. Although I don't have a regular lucky cat, so I can't make it yet. But yeah, there's gold armor. It's eight nuggets. It's crazy. Also, I got a uh, Makar's mask, which is called the leaf mask, even though it's obviously a Korok. Um, so this is nice. Uh, let me see. What well, are cool stuff? I got this street piano recipe from Phoebe, but I don't- I think I'm- I think I have a painting set, but I don't have the piano yet. 
This is all the spring bamboo stuff and most of the sakura recipes, but not all of them. This bag is so cute. I love it so much. And then of course, all the bunny day stuff. I actually got, um, so you get the party hat and dress once you have all of the other outfit recipes. So that was the last things that I was missing. So I have them now. So I'll definitely be wearing this on the 12th, which will be nice. Um, which reminds me actually, there's actually um, a fishing tourney announced. It was posted on the board for April 11th. So we'll be here the 11th and the 12th uh, to see how all of this goes. So it'll be really interesting. First fishing tourney. Also, I love this paper. This paper is great. It looks like something I'd want to recreate with my um, Posca paint pens. Like the texture and everything looks like it was done with Poscas. So maybe I should recreate this. That would be quite fun. It's very cute. So yeah, that's exciting as well. It's all, it's all happening, slowly but surely. What are the themes for my rooms? Well, in my house? Um, we can end off in my house. I had a brief look around um, when we started the stream, but we can just do a, a double a double check. Yeah, these are all my spare recipes, holding on to them, hoping to give them to people who need. So yeah, this is like the main room, which is where I craft, and it's also just where I put a lot of my junk and my um, happy home trophies, because I'm doing pretty well with that. My switch. Um, out back here, trash room 2.0 is still the same. Uh, my trash room now has all of the different colors of, of trash. So um, yeah, <laughs> that's that's fine as it is. It's really just storage, but um, I think it looks kind of funny. So I've kept that back there. Um, I got this lamp actually today. I quite like that lamp. Um, I don't think anything's changed. Oh no, actually something has changed in here. So this is the bedroom slash bathroom. I actually found a shower today. So I now have a shower, which is great. Um, and I got this cute little toy box as well. I think um, one of my villagers gave me that, but I don't remember who. I don't think it was Dizzy though. Although I think Dizzy has one in his house, which is nice. And then um, I showed this room at the start, but this is my updated Zen slash cherry blossom room with the lights off because it looks cool. And I've got, um, shoot, what's the name of the song? The song playing, Spring Blossoms. So it's all very appropriate in here. And then upstairs, I'm just using at the moment to store all my bunny day stuffs. So eventually upstairs will be something else. Um, But yeah, this is all my spare bunny deer recipes I have so far and then all of the things I've crafted. I really like the upstairs, how it's like this long rectangular room. It's like a proper loft space. I think it's really cool. So yeah, that's uh, that's where we're at. So um, I think what we'll do is um, in terms of... Roxy? <laughs> in terms of... Um, streaming Animal Crossing. I think we're probably gonna go back to weekly streams unless there's something exciting happening. For example, like Bunny Day. Roxy, you just want to show off, don't you? <laughs> so um, yeah, I think we'll do like a weekly catch up. So over the next two weeks or so, you should be able to see how the island progresses. Look at her face. She's right in the camera. She knows it as well. <laughs> She's funny. <laughs> um, yeah, like I was saying, um, I think it'll be good to kind of show the, the progression, but this is probably um, as close as it's going to be to finished, minus some of the river work, which I'll probably do next week. And then the week after, everything will be in place and everything should be pretty. So that's the plan at the moment. Um, so we've got the fishing tourney on the 11th and then bunny day on the 12th. So that'll be like a super big
busy weekend and that should be really fun. So until then, my plan is to just keep on working on the island, try and keep track of how many hours I spent on it because I'd like to be able to know that because it's kind of hard when you're just kind of doing little bits and pieces but I'm trying to keep track of the hours so we're probably looking at about 15 and a half hours now um, that I've spent working on this place and like I said the main bulk of the terraforming is done so should be fairly smooth sailing from now I hope so um yeah I'll say goodbye for now friends uh, thank you very much for watching, I appreciate it, and I'll see you soon for some fishing and some bunny day and lots of other cool things in between, I'm sure. So I'll say goodbye for now, friends. Thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye.